Well, there was yet another deadly accident along a dangerous stretch of road for pedestrians in western New York. Good evening. I'm Mary Ellis Stemler. And hello, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Since last week, we have been trying to speak with lawmakers about why nothing is being done to make Niagara Falls Boulevard safer for walkers. Two on your sides, Emily Lampa joins us live from the boulevard. Emily, are we getting any answers tonight? Scott and Mary Alice, we have been waiting all day to hear back from the Department of Transportation about their reaction to this most recent fatality here on Niagara Falls Boulevard. And they got back to us just before the newscast. Now, they turned down our request for an on-camera interview, so again, we could not ask them the tough questions. But essentially what they told us is that they do or they have rather hired a consultant to do that year long study they were telling us about the year long study before actually making any changes out here on the boulevard. And they tell us that they are now working with the towns of Amherst and Tonawanda to quote unquote proactively find potential solutions. So that's not a groundbreaking announcement either because the towns have told us that themselves. Speaking of which, we spoke with the supervisor of the town of Tonawanda earlier today. Take a look. Along the boulevard, you got some apartments. Town of Tonawanda Supervisor Joe Eminger tells two on your side. He and the supervisor of Amherst talked over the dangerous. weekend and again this morning fatality. because of this weekend's fatality. The supervisor Copa and I are going to be sitting down uh, later this week to uh, uh, try and speed things up along that uh, avenue. And we are hoping, uh, hopeful also to sit down with our uh, state representatives as well uh, to uh, to. Uh, you know, push this thing forward. We're told a meeting between the two towns and DOT should be happening within the next few weeks. They want to hear from traffic engineers about safety options and whether they might work on the boulevard. Everything from roundabouts, pedestrian bridges, mid-block crosswalks, slowing down speed or even reducing lanes. We asked about sidewalks and we're told it's not easy because depending on the right of way, putting in sidewalks could be the responsibility of business owners. And has your team seen anything that can be done prior to the state wrapping up a study that could take up to a year. Not, not that I am aware of. The state DOT maintains that improvements cannot be made until after a study of the area is complete, and we're told that won't likely be done until next summer. Do you think that we can wait or that we can afford to wait a year to do something about what's happening on Niagara Falls Boulevard? Well, uh, the, the easy answer would be no. OK, but, you know, these things are not these things are some complicated issues that we're talking about. And we certainly don't want to do something that isn't going to, you know, solve the solve the problem. We spoke to Assemblyman Robin Schiminger again after our conversation last week when he told us he would put pressure on the DOT to make improvements a top priority. Have you heard from the DOT yet? No, we haven't. We're in the process of reaching out and we may be joined by some other state legislators also in in that effort. Schiminger is in Albany, so he couldn't speak to us on camera because of legislative session. But he does tell us that he plans to reach out to the DOT within the week. Now, he does say that he hopes the governor catches wind of this story. And speaking of which, we actually went out to the governor's office today. And, of course, we are still waiting for a response. Reporting live from Niagara Falls Boulevard, Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.